This is just a quick guide for what I think will be the best starter strategy to get you the most points at the very start of leagues. Now this gets you 75 easy tasks and 7 medium tasks for a total of 1030 points in only what I expect to be about an hour, plus there's another 4 or 5 tasks that you may get depending on RNG. The first thing that you need to do, which may be forced on you, is to complete the league's tutorial. Then they'll have put an option somewhere for the league's menu, just have a look around, click on that and open it and that's another task. Then go over to the magic tutor and use the drop trick to get some more runes. Whilst you're there, also see if they'll give you a Draymond staff. The quest Lost City is auto unlocked, so we can access the fairy ring straight away, but the branch is in a different area. And usually when that happens, you can claim one from one of the starter NPCs, but if not, don't worry and just skip this step. If you can get one, head south and enter Xanarus and then leave again. Then head east and cut one of the trees on your way and fish some shrimp. There's five tasks here which you'll complete, but you want to stay until you finish the one where you cook five pieces of food without burning any, and the rest will auto complete, but make sure before you leave to have one raw shrimp. Then go north to Death's office in the Lumbridge graveyard, enter and then leave. Whilst in the graveyard, do the dance emote for another task, then pickpocket a man or a woman until you have 28 pouches and then open them all at once. After that, pickpocket just once more to reach level 10. Next, head a little bit north and east across the bridge to kill a goblin, pick up its bones and bury them for another task. Go to the bank upstairs in Lumbridge Castle and bank everything except the raw shrimp, your GP, a pot, a bucket and three pieces of food. Go to the general store and buy some shears, plus if you don't have one for any reason, a pot and a bucket. And if by any chance there's a bird snare in the general store, since they're going to be putting box traps in there, they might just have put these in as well. If they do, buy one and drop one piece of food, as it'll save a bit of time later on. After that, go and shear 20 sheep just to the north. Pick up an egg from the farmer's enclosure just northwest slightly, and start the quest sheep shearer here. Pickpocket the farmer close by until you get to level 15 thieving, and you have at least 200 GP. You should be fine for food, but if you do run out, don't worry, you can just pickpocket men and women later for the levels or the GP. Then pick some wheat by the windmill and use the cry emote in the field. Next, go up to the top of the windmill, put it in the hopper upstairs, use the controls to make some flowers, and go downstairs and collect it. After that, go behind the windmill and milk a cow, and then home telly. Complete cook's assistant just by talking to the cook since you've got all the items now, and cook the raw food from earlier on the range. Then go to the next floor in Lumbridge Castle and make 20 balls of wool on the spinning wheel. And whilst you're there, speak to Duke Horatio to start the room mystery quest. Once you've done that, head downstairs and buy a steel axe from Bob. Then go to the knife spawn and pick one up. Don't worry if there isn't one here, you can get one later upstairs in the Varric General Store and just do this next part then, which is simply to cut a tree and fletch some arrow shafts. Keep cutting trees in this area until you're level 6 and then make sure to burn at least one log for a separate task. Then at level 6 cut one more log for the steel axe task. Once you've done that go back to the farmer to complete the sheep shear request. Then go to the ham hideout and pickpocket any ham woman. Optionally you can keep going here until you get a steel pickaxe because that's going to give you an extra task in the method. It's a 1 in 50 drop though so without the relic I personally wouldn't bother. Go to the wizard's tower and use the fairy ring behind if we have a draymond staff. Just use it to Xanarus and then just come straight back to the wizard's tower. Go into the basement and speak to the wizard for the next part of the room mystery quest. And once you have that, come back out of the basement and head north towards Drainer. On your way, you might as well pick up a wear of forestry pack, as there's a few forestry tasks that you can get lucky with. While you're in Drainer, get your runes and a pickaxe out. And buy some wines from the market as a good healing food. Hence should be more than plenty for what you're going to need. Whilst you're here, grab yourself four barley seeds too. Next, you can get a task from the wise old man. Now this is optional, but he will ask you to do something and it's always something that you have the stats to do. So it's likely to be very easy. And it's a medium task, so it's worth 40 points. At least see what it is and if it's something you want to do and add in, then do. If not, don't worry about it. Then get Ned to make some rope for you, which costs 15 GP and he's just in the house to the east. Then go west and talk to Aggie and select option 3, you mad old witch, you can't help me, making sure to go through the whole chat. Next complete 10 laps of Draenor Village Agility course which is 2 tasks, 1 easy and 1 medium and you're probably going to obtain a Mark of Grace too which is another task. Then head north to Draenor Manor and go through the front door. 
Go upstairs and walk around, and one of the chairs should follow you for another task. Go north after that to the Barbarian Village, and then down into the Stronghold of Security. Maze the level 5 goblins just to get a few HP levels, and while you're doing it, you might as well bury the bones to get yourself 5 prey. Then go through the Stronghold of Security and get 10,000 GP, as well as the boot if you're comfortable doing so, which is on the 4th floor, because it's a task to wear them. Leave the Stronghold and then mine 10 ore. Go to the southeast after you've done that and mine another 10 copper, which is one easy task or two if you manage to get the steel pickaxe. After that, head west of Varric and smelt your ores into bronze bars. If you have a bird snare, take it out of the bank now, but if not, go through the Soul Wars portal onto the Isle of Souls and go all the way to the north to get yourself a bird snare, then catch a crimson swift in the south. If you have a bird snare already, obviously you just go to the south, and it's a lot less time used. After that, I think, and I could be wrong, that you can trade the Slayer Master even if you don't have the combat level to get a Slayer task from it. Now, we won't have the combat level, but I think you can trade it, and please put it in the comments if I'm wrong, and I'll pin it. But if you can, go buy a gem and a spiny helmet from the Edgeville Slayer Master. Use the gem to contact the Slayer Master, and wear the spiny helmet to complete two more tasks. Head over to Varric and on your way activate any prayers just to drain them and take out your hammer from the bank and a slash weapon and make some bronze arrowheads in Varric but then a bronze full helm when you get to level 7 which is a task. Whilst you're in the area pet a stray dog wherever you see it, it can be absolutely anywhere in Varric but it normally finds you before you find it. Then take out your axe, tinderbox, rake and seeds. Head towards the centre and buy a fire staff from the shop and equip it. Go to the rune shop for the next step in rune mysteries, and also buy 150 mind runes and 300 air runes whilst you're there. Then go to the altar just southeast a little bit and pray to get your prayer points back and complete another task, before heading north slightly to steal a cup of tea. After you have that, safe spot a guard from the other side of some of these rocks. Keep maging the guards on defensive casting until you reach level 10 defense, and you can now equip your spiny helmet from before. Then head west slightly to the armor shop and buy yourself a black plate body and a steel plate body. Equip them both and then sell them back to the shop. Once you've done that, go upstairs in the church to the north and give Elsie a cup of tea and she will tell you a story. Next, go to the estate agent and buy a house for 1000 GP. Then go down into the sewers and head towards the moss giants. Slashing one of the webs on the way is one task and then you can save spot a moss giant for another. Head back out and complete the natural history quiz in the museum. After that, go over to the sawmill and cut a log along the way, and then pay the sawmill to turn it into a plank. Head southeast and take the boat to Fossil Island, and once you're there, pet the dog in the museum camp. Next, take the boat back to the dig site, and in the southeast, you can pan for an uncut jade. Once you have it, head back out west to the south side of Varric and kill one of the dark wizards. Just be a little bit careful, we're still fairly low level to pick one of the lower level ones. And then chop trees just to the south where it's safe and get yourself 15 wood cutting and 15 fire making. Then just slightly south is a hops patch, so speak to the farmer there to get the rest of your farming supplies that you need, as well as 3 compost. And then plant your hops in the patch there and pay them to look after them, which he charges 3 compost for. Head a little bit further southeast and chop the oak tree in the potato field. Once you have those logs, burn them for three tasks in one. After that, go over to the wizard's tower and complete the room mysteries quest. Once you've done that, select the option to locate on the air talisman for a task, and then teleport to the essence mine via the wizard and then back out for another one. Kill a lesser demon upstairs, this is an easy and a medium task, but a lot of the time there's a huge queue to kill it, but people generally do wait in line, and it is worth doing, it's just a little bit annoying. And after you've done that, teleport over to Karamja. Now I don't know how this is going to be done yet, it may be with lodestones again, we'll have to wait and see, but I'm pretty sure last time it was in this area here. But either way, we need to go over to the banana plantation anyway, so head to the charter ship over this side. Once there, buy anything at all from the charter ship, you can pick a tinderbox if yours is in the bank, because we will need one later. And then talk to the guy here to fill up a crate of bananas. After that, head into the volcano and go to the Tazar area, and safe spot any of the high levels in here. If you haven't done it before, there's an easy one right by the bank. Go back over to the Brimhaven Agility area, and I've put this part in, but feel free to skip it if you don't want to, and you just need to get one ticket, but our agility will be fairly low. You can also get 10 tickets if you want to buy a Snapdragon, which is a medium task, 
and worth 40 points. But I haven't included it because I think that would be horrible at this level. Over to the southwest is a pineapple plant, so pick a pineapple from it. And then just a little bit further southwest, you can pay to enter the Brimhaven dungeon and then simply leave. Go to the general store in the south and buy a torch and light it for another task, which gives you 75 easy tasks and 7 medium tasks, without doing any of the long ones. I've ticked off the list for everything that's in the guide, so everything that's highlighted here is in the guide, and anything that isn't is not in the guide. So if you want to tweak the setup, you can do it and add in a few more tasks. 